gold diggers are everywhere. Here are sure fires that he is a gold digger. One, he always asks about your finances. If your boyfriend always brings up topics about your finances and their investment, then it is a sure fire that he is a gold digger. Your boyfriend should enjoy spending quality time with you talking about your likes, qualities, and other essential things in your relationship in the normal circumstances, right? That's what he should do. Though there are stage where he's supposed to ask about your finances and investment, like when you guys are getting serious, when you want to become husband and wife, there is need for both of you to talk about your finances and investment, okay? But when he does that more often, every now and then he's asking about your finances, about your investment, he wants to know every, every minute. In fact, he does not even ask you about your likes, your concerns. That one doesn't concern him. He doesn't care about that. All he's always uh, uh, bumping you with is your finances. He wants to know your estate, your, that, this one. Where is it located? Where is that one? Where is the certificate for this one? Where is the uh, documents for this one? You know, that's all he wants to know. It becomes a call for concern when your partner is always interested in your money because he has an ulterior motive. Tip two, he always experiences financial emergencies, just like the female gold diggers. <laughs> just like the female gold diggers. So male gold diggers experiences what financial emergencies, getting various, various emergencies that need money. In most cases, Male gold diggers use this uh, reverse psychology and appear manipulative when asking you for money. Also, male gold diggers, there is this thing about them. They show concern to for others or to others. Not it's not a genuine concern, but to you, they appear to you, they want to let you know that they want to help that person, they want to help this person, you know, and they will always give you another reason why they can't find the money to help that person just to get that dough from you be ready to be introduced to family and friends in their need but whom you would never hear or see again three he's not ambitious beware of a partner who has no job and he's not interested in finding one soon they have no grand plan. They are rarely driven to do something constructive with their life. Instead, they just want to enjoy life. They want to enjoy life without working. They want easy money. Money that they did not work for. Any man who is not career-oriented will always depend on you as a lady to pay for his bills. Absolutely. No gain saying about it most of these male gold diggers have uh, attractive looks and they leverage on it to get your hard-earned money to spend on themselves and others four he lies about his job male gold diggers lie about their job and present themselves to be successful yeah he portrays himself to be what successful to you. He may even lie about having an issue at his working place just to end your pity and also get you to pay his bills. But have you been to this his almighty business place or have you been to his working place to confirm if he is genuinely working? Most ladies make this mistake. You just keep hearing, I have this, uh, my shop is a so place, my working place is a so place, which you've not gone to, which you've not been to. You've not been to where he's working, you've not, you don't know his colleagues, he's just pointing, he may even point some people and say, yeah, this is my colleague. Have you been to that his business place or office?
to confirm if that your guy is genuinely working or he's just a parasite that is in a relationship with you just for money have you gone to confirm that ladies you need to be careful here it's a red flag if you notice a guy doing all this and he does not allow you to visit his working place he has never taken you there oh ladies please it's a red flag he is just a gold digger five he always pays for things at first and then never again just like every perfect gentleman who would take a lady out and pay for the things she shopped for, you know, for their first time, the man gets to pay for everything the lady shopped for. So they are good at this. They will pay for everything you've shopped for. Then slowly, they will continue doing it for some time, you know. On the first few dates, they will do it. They, they tend to be charming and so loving. You will feel, oh my God, I've gotten my soulmate. Oh, this is the guy I've been looking for. Oh, in fact, no more searching. He's a fighter or something. You know, they will be giving you all that vibe, all that gentle guy vibe, you know, up and down until you are emotionally invested, until you fall in love with them. Once you fall in love with them, you will see a swift turn. They will start depending on you to pay for every. Thing. they will start giving excuse like um i forgot my wallet at home or i left it in the car just avoid embarrassment they will continue to do this until you get accustomed to this body and become very very used to it man ladies shine your up be very very careful six he's always curious about your family background <laughs> such male go diggers or male go diggers they are always curious about your family background they want to know about your family background they want to know if you are from a famous family or if you are from a rich family where they can get some cool cash so ladies be careful here so if you see a guy or if your boyfriend is always asking you about your family background be very careful be very careful what you tell him about your family background boss because most now the guys just want to know if your family have this money if your father is famous if you guys have this money if your father is rich your mother is rich if you are rich if everybody in your family are rich they just want to mm, jump right in and enjoy money so be careful ladies be careful when you find such a guy be very careful the things you tell him don't talk too much bridle your tongue because once you let them into the secret or into knowing that your family is well doing that your father your mother you yourself you have money everything is perfect in your family they will jump right in they will they will, they will do everything possible to make you fall in love with them. They will become so loving, so caring, so this, that you will think, oh my God, the sky is an angel on earth. You get But once they lay their hands on that money, once they lay their hands on that money, they will leave you. Hmm? They will leave you and do what? Jack back. They will leave you and run. So be careful. Seven. He becomes agitated when you say no to his requests. Now, ladies, beware of guys who get angry when you say no to their financial requests. This is especially true because he is used to getting money from you whenever he asks for it. So, already, he sees you as his ATM machine. Be very careful of such boyfriends. Eight, the last one. He's jealous. A male bodyguard will always be jealous because he doesn't want you to get into another relationship that would deprive him of his goal, that would make him not achieve his goal. That is why he's jealous. Not that he's jealous for the right reason. No, he's jealous because he doesn't want that other person to distract you 
from focusing on him. That is why he's jealous, just to pursue the other person so that, you know, when a woman loves a particular guy and she has no distraction, you know, there's a possibility of that person that she is focusing on will get everything. The guy will actually get everything that he wants. But once, boom, you have a distraction, there's another guy into the picture, you may not actually listen to everything that that other one is saying. Okay, so they they pretend to be jealous. That's how I should put it. They pretend to be jealous so that another person will not come into the picture and, uh, and make them not to achieve their primary goal of coming into your life. So guys, this is it for now. If you're a new subscriber here, please help me hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification so that you'll be notified when I upload my new videos. For my returning subscribers, mwah, mwah. see you guys in my next video. Love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. You rock. You please do help me share the video.